Welcome to Mathematics with M's, grade 10, algebraic expressions. And now in this video, I'm look, going to look at special products. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. Special products. We will now consider the following special products. Products which lead to the difference of two squares, squaring a binomial, cubing a binomial. Products which lead to the difference of squares. Consider the product x plus y times x minus y. Now you will notice that if you have a closer look at the two binomials, they are very similar. The only difference is that the one they have a plus and the other one a minus. So if you use uh, the FOIL method, you'll get x squared minus xy plus xy minus y squared. And you will notice that if you collect like terms, the two in the middle will cancel and you're left with x squared minus y squared. So we have a close look. That means there's two terms, a negative in the middle. The first one is a square and the second one is a square. And that's what we call, why we call it the product, which leads to the difference of two squares. Expand and simplify the following. So if you look at a 3x plus 2y, 3x minus 2y, you will notice it is very similar to our previous discussion. So the two brackets are very similar, except the one have a plus and the other one a minus. So already you know what I can do is I can write a negative in the middle and I just basically square the first term. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. Square the second term. 2y times 2y is 4y squared. Because already I know in this situation that two middle terms will cancel. Let's look at b, a minus 5b, a plus 5b. Again, a similar situation. So now I know a negative in the middle, square the a and square the 5b. And you get a squared minus 25b squared. Look at c. Again, a very similar situation. Now you know a minus in the middle. 4x4, 4x to the power 4 times 4x to the power 4 is 16x to the power 8. And of course, 3y cubed times 3y cubed is 9y to the power of 6. So if you look at D, then it doesn't look like the pattern. However, if you group A minus B in the first bracket and you group A minus B in the second bracket, then you do have a similar situation. Or you can use K. You can say let A minus B be K. And then use the K method to recognize the sum and difference. So now you have your two brackets. So you know a minus in the middle. So A minus B must be squared and D must be squared. So therefore the answer is A minus B squared minus D squared. So you can leave it like that. Or you can remove the brackets just to check whether you get the same answer. So if you remove the brackets, you get a minus b, a minus b, minus d squared, which of course is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared minus d squared. The alternative methods makes it easier to recognize that the product leads to the difference of two squares. That is now if you choose to use the k method. Squaring a binomial. So consider the squares of the following binomials. If you look at a plus b squared, then you know the two actually means you must repeat a plus b. So therefore, if you foil a plus b times a plus b, you'll notice you can collect the middle two terms and the answer is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. The same with a minus b squared. Repeat the brackets, foil, and you'll notice the middle term ends up with a negative 2ab plus b squared. So therefore, there is a shorter way of doing it. So what you do is you basically square the first term square the last term and then the middle term is normally the middle the a times b and times 2 gives you 2ab right so make sure you can do the shortcut as well it will save you tons of time let's look at the following examples expand and simplify look at x plus 4 to the power 2 so now we know it is x plus 4 squared so you square the first term you square the last one, so x squared, 4 squared is 16, then the middle term will be x times 4 and times 2 gives you 8x. B, or you can do, apply, of course, the longer method. 
Same with x minus 4. So you square x. x times x is x squared. Negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. And the middle term is x times minus 4 times 2 is minus 8x. Look at c. Same here. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 4y times 4y is 16y squared. And the middle term is 2x times 4y times 2 gives you 16xy. Look at d. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Negative 4y times negative 4y is positive 16y squared. Then the middle term is 2x times negative 4y times 2 is negative 16xy. Look at e, uh, e. Negative 5a times negative 5a is 25a squared. Negative 2b times negative 2b is positive 4b squared. And the middle term is negative 5a times negative 2b times 2 is positive 20ab. Look at f. This is an example where a binomial is cubed. So you have a minus b3 to the, to the cube. Then what you do is you split it into a minus 3b to the power 1 times a minus 3b squared. So the first binomial will stay like that. And then you only square the second one, which is a squared minus 6ab plus 9b squared. Then you foil again. So you multiply a into the second bracket, multiply 3b into the second bracket, collect your like terms, and you get your answer as a cubed minus 9a squared b plus 27ab squared minus 27b cubed. Right, I will recommend that you must look at the examples a and b. Please work through the exercise. Always double check your answers and make sure you can master the skill. Enjoy. Thanks for watching this video. This is uh, Mathematics with M's, Ahmed Suleiman. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe.